This is the time of the year when hundreds of thousands of young people are trying to make that big decision on where to go to college. And that choice is really hard to make until they know how much financial aid they are going to get. Right now, they are in limbo because of a massive mishap by the federal government. Scott McFarland is at the University of Maryland with more. Hey, Scott, good morning. Nick. A naked morning. This was the year the U.S. Education Department unveiled a simpler, shorter college aid application. It's shorter, but it's been a fiasco. Paige Fogel was ahead of the game. I had it figured out. I was ready to apply. A high school senior in Washington, D.C., she's already planning to major in business and knows her dream school. If everything works out, I'll be going to Hampton University in the fall. Paige submitted for federal financial aid within days of the application portal opening. After weeks of waiting, she's still left in limbo. Without these award packages, I can't make my final decision, which is ultimately delaying me getting to the finish line. Paralyzed by a new system Washington is using for aid applications, Congress mandated changes to the so-called FAFSA form to simplify it, like streamlining 103 questions down to 20. But the result has been anything but simple. Glitches and technical delays have plagued the forms rollout for millions of students. And just last week, the Education Department announced an aid calculation error that could impact hundreds of thousands of families. The new application was launched months later than normal, and with many students up against the traditional May 1st deadline to choose a school, some are now pushing back their commitment date, like Morgan State University in Maryland. There's a lot that has to happen between the time a student says, yes, I want to come, and the time that they, they actually are sitting in class. They need to apply for housing. They need to figure out how they're going to pay for college, enroll in a payment plan. They have to get registered for classes. So all of that is shortened now. Well, it's definitely been... Uh, a rocky launch to the FAFSA this year. James Caval is an undersecretary of education. We know how important the FAFSA is in helping low and middle income students um, choose the college that is best going to serve their needs. And our overarching goal is to get the FAF get the financial aid offers in their hands as quickly as possible. The mess adds strain to an already tense time for students who want to avoid drowning in student loan debt. Is it starting to get nerve wracking? It is. Um... I can, every time I see the cost sheet of tuition and cost and fees, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of just stuck. The U.S. Education Department tells CBS News it is sending staff and experts to about 100 schools nationwide to deal with the backlog and crunch. But, Nate, they also acknowledge overall aid applications are down. And that's a problem. Scott, thank you.